coming to, to see you. I had you with the dehydrated. I'm just gonna start you on, on some IV medication. How what? was your night? In a normal day, I should only be seeing 10 patients and the max is like 12. Sometimes I see up to 20 patients. This is like driving to 20 different homes in one day. Patients are suffering. We don't have enough nurses to take care of them. This means that the patients are not getting the care that they need when they need it. I remember one patient who had wound care. He was pushed behind. By the time I got to this patient six days later, he had maggots coming out of his leg. This is unacceptable. Every time I send my patient to the emergency, I'm so worried for them because I know that there are not enough nurses in the hospital either. It's the same in the long-term care. It's the same in the nursing home. It's the same everywhere. Show me, how do you do slow motion? Slowly. Slowly. People think we're babysitters, but we're not babysitters. We are educators. We are professionals. What's the first letter of the apple? A. A. Who likes smoothies? Smoothie. Yeah. You like smoothie? Yeah. Oh, what do you like in your smoothie? Yes. What do you like in your smoothie? Smoothie, uh, strawberries. Strawberries. I like strawberries. Yeah. So we study hard to do what we do, but getting to the job, most times we've not been treated as professionals. Like for example, when I started, I wasn't even told how much I'll be making. And when I got my first pay stop, I was so surprised that I was making $10 per hour. What time is your parent teacher thingy? Okay. So we're gonna drop it in an alley. I was so determined to go to nursing school, but I didn't have childcare. I couldn't afford it. They said it was $850 per child. $850. For my three kids, I was going to pay $2,500. I'm so grateful for my mother-in-law because had it been, she didn't accept to come and help me with the kids, I wouldn't be a nurse today. There are so many other women out there who they really want to work or they want to go to school. Either the childcare is not available or it's not affordable. When I first started working, we didn't have a union. Staff didn't feel valued. They were treated with disrespect. So we organized the union. We have a fair wage now, more sick days and more vacation. Most importantly, we now have a voice. As across the country, staff are getting burnt out because the work that is supposed to be done by three people is being done by just one person. And many of my colleagues are saying that they go home some days and they don't even feel like coming back. But if we all quit, who is going to take care of the children? Are you best buddies? Yes. The good news is that we organized and made the federal government promise to lower fees for parents. But the bad news is that we don't have enough spaces and we don't have enough workers. So we now need to organize together to win the respect, wages, benefit that child care workers deserve. We need to invest in the workers who provide care. When workers organize together, we can fix this crisis and lift everyone up.